we've gone through our setup guide. As you can see, we've only got a few things left, our emails, which we'll cover shortly, and then setting up our payment and hosting and checkout. For now, let's finish up our design. We have a few more things to look at, including all the e-commerce pages and the checkout page. So if we come back over to pages and scroll down to our e-commerce pages section, we'll see we have the products template, categories template, checkout, checkout PayPal, and order confirmation. You may have adjusted some of this design already when you were setting up your storefront, but let's just double check to be sure everything is correct. If you click on the products template and you're following along using the template we started with from the beginning, most of this work is done for you. If you, however, are needing to add something in or build it from scratch, let's show how you would do that. So here under this product wrapper, we have the, the hero information up here, but then we have this little add to cart. So if that wasn't there or you needed to adjust it, just like we would add any other element, you can hit the plus sign or command E, come down and drag in an add to cart button. This will allow you to customize and do different states. Show and hide your quantity, add to cart, show and hide. You can just have a buy now, whichever you would like to do. As you can see, buy now is only supported with Stripe. So if you're not connecting Stripe as a payment provider, that option won't be available. But this will let you set all of the different states and let you customize or add if you're not using a template. So that's already done for us. We can go ahead and delete it and just look at our add to cart here. So we can see we have the add to cart. Now this did come with the option list from the original template because we had product options, but if ours doesn't, it will of course be hidden. So no need to worry about that. Go ahead and customize this the same you would any other Webflow template, being sure that you're paying attention to all of your error states as this is a storefront, if you're setting up physical products, you want to ensure that you're letting customers know appropriately if something wasn't added or is out of stock. Again, if you're using a digital product, some of this may not be applicable, but you do want to double check and be sure that everything is set up accordingly. Aside from that, you want to be sure that you're pulling in the correct navigation, header and footer if you've adjusted that on your main store page. Once everything is set up on your products template, you'll want to come to your categories template. Again, if you're only selling one thing, this template may not be applicable and you may not have multiple categories. So keep in mind the context for which you're using your store. As you can see, I would have quite a bit of work to do here to ensure that this makes sense for my particular store. Now that we've gone through the products template and categories template, let's go ahead and move on to our next feat, which is customizing the checkout, checkout PayPal and order confirmation. We'll do that next.